What is happening guys? My name is Mike, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day, I know a lot of you have been waiting on it. I am finally done looking at another set of clays that you guys recommended. If you did miss part one, I'll put it up at the top for you. I recommend you go watch that, then you come back here for part two, just so you can see the whole thing, not just, you know, this part. Not saying that this video isn't gonna be cool, cause it is, but if you like this one, you're gonna like part one, and then you'd miss out on half of it if you didn't go to that one. We are back at it again. Today, we will examine, demonstrate, and showcase six new clays here in this video. This is Clay Catalog, part two. All right, let me start by telling you, these clay videos were a lot of work. In case anyone was wondering how I did these, what I ended up doing with every clay, both part one and part two, was I tested out each individual clay multiple times. Wet hair, dry hair, different styles. But once I actually found the method and style for each clay that I really liked, that's when I documented it for the video. So when people comment on stuff and say, I wish you would have showed me this in dry hair or wet hair, I did it this way because that's the way that I found that it worked the best for me. A few of them today actually ended up with both wet and dry hair because I couldn't decide really which one looked better, so I just put them both in there. So let's kick this thing off. Let's start part two with the Dead Sea Clay from the Flagship Pomade Company. The Dead Sea Clay from the Flagship Pomade Company utilizes both kaolin and sea clay to create a smooth yet grippy pomade. This water-based product scoops out and breaks down thick and creamy, but once it enters the hair, it allows for a combination of slick styling, nice thick hold, and great texture from both the clays and the sea salt used in the formula. I personally love how sticky and thick this clay is. My hair responded really well to it, and it allowed for my hair to be molded in any which way I pleased without hardening or going soft. This clay costs $23 for four ounces. Next up is the Grim Grease Clay Pomade. I was very interested in trying this one as I'm sure a lot of you are. This was one that took me for surprise when I was testing it as I found that there was a clear line with this product as to how much is too much. It comes out and breaks down easy and doesn't feel like it's going to hold as well as it does, but trust me, it packs a punch. And for those wondering about the scent, there is some coffee mixed in, but there are so many other notes going on in there. It's nothing like any other coffee scent I've tried and I really enjoy it. This clay costs $20 for four ounces. Next up is the Arcadian Clay Pomade. This is the one a lot of you have been waiting for. This clay was unlike any of the others I had tried of its type since beginning this study of clay products. With its creamy, light, and textured breakdown, this clay performs more like a lab-made salon clay than a homemade clay pomade. I have really loved using this, and I've been using it in dry hair to create high volume textured looks that have a great long lasting hold, and even combining it with other products for different looks. For those wondering about damp hair, here's a look at that. In my opinion, it still works in damp hair, but you don't get nearly as much of the benefits as you do with dry hair. This clay is very well priced at $15.95 for four ounces. Up now is the matte clay from the Bearded Bastard. This was a highly requested clay and I was really excited to try it out. Scooping out of the tin is a little different as this one is very hard and solid. This one is different as well as you can tell by the gritty texture that it's very clay heavy. It provides a great high volume textured but polished look in both damp and dry hair for me. This one is a little bit on the expensive side though at $22 for two ounces. Moving on to the Black Hills Clay from Tasmanian Tame. This clay was different than the others in this set of testing as it had a thick, greasy texture to it made from a blend of butters, beeswax, oils, and bentonite clay. It came out of the jar and broke down right away and allowed for nice and easy styling. I tried this clay in both dry and damp hair and was able to achieve good styles with both. The scent on this clay is a sweet, spicy pomegranate and is nicely priced at $12 for two ounces. Last up, Rough Rider from Kevin Murphy. This was a requested clay for this video and is obviously different than the rest because it is a lab-made salon product versus a homebrewed clay pomade. Rough Rider is nice and thick coming out of the box, making its strong hold known by the thick breakdown in the hand. You get a sense of grit and dry texture as well as you run this clay through dry hair. I found it to be perfect for high volume texture with great long lasting hold. This clay is simply awesome. Rough Rider costed me $23 for 3.4 ounces. 
All right, that's it for part two. Just based on your guys' comments and recommendations, I have been continuing to gather more clays. So I can tell you part three will happen. I just don't know exactly when. I am gonna take some time off from doing all this work with the clays because I have some awesome segments coming up like more killer combos and product reviews and fashion stuff. But part three will happen. So if you do have a clay you want me to look at, make sure you put it in the comment section down below or tag me on one of my other social media accounts with your clay request and I'll take a look at it. While you're in the comment section, don't forget to let me know what you thought about this set of clays and drop me a like. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my other social media accounts for additional content. As always, I wanna thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. I thought I just broke this.